Hi guys! So I'm back and I'm going to be doing a Lana Del Rey look today. So as you guys all know, Lana is way lighter than me. So I'm going to take my light liquid foundation and just dab that all over my face with my egg sponge. Now I'm going to add concealer on the areas where the light hits the most on her face. So like on my forehead and then on the bridge of my nose and also of course underneath the eyes, um, above my nose and my chin. Now to make sure that my liquid foundation doesn't go anywhere, I'm just going to grab my powder foundation and brush that all over. Moving on to the brows, Lana's eyebrows start a bit lower than mine and then it has a light arch. So I'm just going to replicate that using my brown eyebrow pencil. I love how I'm always so concentrated while doing my eyebrows. Next is contouring and contouring is the most important part so make sure you use a matte brown eyeshadow so it doesn't reflect light. Um, so Lana's nose is a bit thicker up between her eyebrows so as it goes down her nose gets taller and more defined. Really blend the brown eyeshadow to make the contour on your nose as natural looking as possible and then add a bit of highlight on the tip of your nose. So for the eyes, Lana has big round eyes which is way different than my small Asian eyes. So I'm taking a black eyeshadow and creating a nice rounded crease. And if you already have big eyelids, it's going to be a lot easier for you. So just brush on a dark brown eyeshadow. After that, I'm just going to brush on this white eyeshadow on my eyelids. And to create Lana's signature eyeliner, take a small brush or an angled brush and sweep across your lash line, making it thicker as it goes outwards. And after you've winged the corners of your eyes, take a white eyeliner and line your waterline. I usually have to do this because my eyes are really small, so the white eyeliner really makes it pop. And then I'm going to use my brown eyeshadow to add some shading on my lower lash line. I'm still not done with my lower lash line, so next I'm taking this black eyeshadow and just brushing that on my lower lashes to give my eyes a nicer, rounder shape. Lana has really long, thick lashes, so take a pair of wispy lashes and apply them on your upper lash line. And also make sure to curl your lashes beforehand. Now that your lashes are applied, take your favorite black mascara and apply them on your bottom and upper lashes. Lana's cheekbones aren't as high and prominent as mine, so I'm just going to brush my peach blush a little below my actual cheekbone. And then I'm going to do some shading above my upper lip to make my lips look more protruded. This is probably my favorite part. So to make your lips look very plump and full like Lana's, you'll need a lip liner very similar to your lip color. I'm going to leave the top of my lips fuller, but as I go down, I'm going to over exaggerate the sides of my lips. The bottom lips are going to be a bit smaller, but wider on the sides. And after you're done shaping, fill your lips with the lip liner. And to make your lips look even fuller, dab a bit of light powder foundation on top of your lips. And that's all for the makeup. So now moving on to the wig. So before I put on my wig, I'm going to put on my wig cap so my hair is all in place. Um, and then I'm going to take my wig, which is the same wig that I used for my Adele transformation. And all I'm doing here is parting the wig on the left side and putting on this flower headband. I'm totally missing the blue contacts for this look, but if you guys are doing this look, don't forget that. And uh, yeah, that's all for my Lana Dore look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comment section which your favorite Lana Dore song is. 
Mine is the video game. Alright, I don't want to sing anymore or you guys are probably going to never come back and watch my videos. So, take care and hasta la vista!